Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can use the menu bar to perform most tasks. The commands on the menu bar are grouped together by command categories such as file, edit, view, and so on. You can click a command grouping to display a drop-down list of commands under each grouping. Then simply click the command that you wish to execute. Each command grouping on the menu bar has an underlined letter, like the F in file. If you want to execute a command from the menu bar, but you don't want to use your mouse, you can press the Alt key on your keyboard, and then press the underlined letter for the desired menu grouping to display the commands for that group. So I'll press the F for file, and then I'll press the A, so I can use Save As. The menu bar is a great educational tool. If you click a menu grouping to view the commands within it, you will notice that if a command has a corresponding toolbar button, a picture of that button will appear to the left side of the command. So, for example, we have Web Component. If you look in the standard toolbar, that picture next to Web Component is right here. You will also see what are referred to as keyboard shortcuts to the right of some commands. If your goal is to become a fast and efficient user of FrontPage, it will be worth your time to memorize these. They're also quite useful in that some of them are practically universal. For instance, the keyboard shortcut for copy is Control plus C. Control plus C works to copy text and objects in almost every program you will encounter. You may also notice that some commands have an ellipsis mark after them. This is the menu bar telling you that when you click one of these commands, a dialog box will appear next. A dialog box is a small window that prompts you to make a choice or selection of some kind. This kind of command would be contrasted to a command like file close, which you can see does not have the ellipsis mark, and this will simply close the active window. Some commands also have a small rightward pointing arrow after them. If you roll your mouse over one of these, a small menu of choices will pop out to the side of the command. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.